Thursday. Today is Thursday. The storm is gone. The storm thankfully appears to be mostly gone from this area. So I am at the mall. It is Thursday here in Miami. Um, it's a normal day here. Everything seems to be open. We don't have any warnings here or anything anymore. I do think it's like absolutely that's just normal Miami. I do think it's absolutely ridiculous though that this mall was open yesterday when we had all the warnings and everything. I mean, to have made your employees go to work in dangerous weather is kind of not the best. So they had brought in some of the plants and stuff from the outside, I guess just in case the weather got bad. So I am back to healthy eating. The birds are chirping and that means egg sandwich like Shake Shack or stuff like that, but obviously that type of food is not good for you. So I uh, brought me a egg sandwich to eat. So some of the stuff was moved over here as well, and that's me. shopped. I'm doing a post hurricane shopping. I love the Brandy Melville section. It makes me so happy. It's one of my favorite brands and you can guess this is exactly where I went. I also like the PacSun stuff too but so cute. Okay so I shopped at PacSun and I got they are like the only place in the mall that has a Brandy Melville section. They used to have a Brandy Melville section over at Nordstrom, but they don't anymore. So I got this really cute top. I got one the other day that was a similar band tee. So it says Mercer Street, New York, and this one says Basement Studio. And then it's got kind of like an abstract scene of, ooh, it's like four people playing, unless it's the same drummer, like a different time period, it's like in motion. I think that's what it's supposed to be. And maybe they'll even open a Brandy Melville. If they opened a Brandy Melville, I think that that would be like, like it would do really well. So it looks really cute. So I was gonna go over to the Nordstrom E-Bar, which is right there. It's like Nordstrom's own um, coffee type of thing. And the guy, some of these workers that are working there are just so creepy that I just cannot make it work. So like, I've been going online and the barista's like singing to me the song from Moulin Rouge. And then he like asks you to tip him in a really creepy way. I actually started to get anxiety, mainly because over at Nordstrom, like the experience there has just become really gross in order to order a coffee. So I'd rather go back to Starbucks and honestly try to make it work. So it just shows the inconsistency because the last, I, I've been complaining about this location here in the mall. Depending on the day, they charge you a different price for iced coffee. So like one day they're charging me like an extra 70 cents, then they're not charging me an extra 70 cents and you complain to corporate and they're like, we'll do whatever we want. So today was one of those days where they're not charging me an extra 70 cents for cream with iced coffee. I have no idea. So basically today it was the regular price and they didn't overcharge me today. I have no idea. Okay, so I went over to Starbucks and what's crazy about Starbucks, especially this location at the mall, is that um, depending on the day at the Starbucks, they're like charging you a different price. It's like the weather is blowing this way, the weather is blowing that way, we're gonna charge you this, that. So like one day they're charging you for cream and their iced coffee, one day they're not. Look how weird it looks. It does look like takeout containers. That's kind of what it looks like, like balancing takeout containers of food. I have no idea. Lush and 
I got something good. Let me show you in a second what I got. It's kind of like turned into like a self-care day today. So let me show you what I got. Those, um, what are they called? Like shower things. They're so cute. I, I, they look like candy to me. I pick up the Rub 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 um, shower gel. So not weird. So those are two different companies, but the bags are almost identical. So you have Lush and Pack Sun with almost the exact same bag. That is so strange. It's like, I am happy. I am just had a chill easy going day I'm really glad that this storm is gone and it's just really really awful the damage that it has caused in a lot of places um, I'm happy that it didn't um, cause too much damage here um, it was better to be like cautious here than not but I'm super happy that not only is the storm gone but I'm hoping that like hurricane season is pretty much over now. I think there's like one other storm in the in the water out there, but I don't think they think it's gonna um, head towards this area. But um, yeah, I'm just, the heat also has been really bad lately and I'm surprised it's still this hot for this time of the year. But um, yeah, I'm glad we got out of this one here in South Florida uh, pretty good without any issues. So yeah, but had a relaxing day, just kind of went out, had to just get out and clear my head stressful here and obviously more stressful for people in the Fort Myers area but um, glad to just have a relaxing day and just chill but yeah thanks guys for watching my relaxing day and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I'm going to try to do more vlogging for you but 